Hmm. I thought the sound of the water going down the drain was quite peaceful. I'm sitting here doing, frankly, I would call it one of the 12 steps, perhaps step 10. It's about making a, um, it's almost like a log book on yourself, checking yourself where you're at. Something that I'm personally experiencing right now is I'm noticing that I'm creating a lot of things mindlessly. Simply by just being, you know, not reflecting on the other side of the action, simply completely surrendering to being, which simply had alone taken ages to come to such a place where one could even feel like they could be and without pressure and expectations and limitations and then finally once one had granted themselves permission to fully express themselves in this said way unfortunately not everyone is as fortunate a true amount of riches that no amount of money can buy Nothing can get you there. No boat. <sighs> I could insert poetic novelties there. So I'll remain focused and quite clear in intentions. I am noticing my shadow. I am noticing things that I don't enjoy. Some of them being creations from myself. Therefore forgiving the self and simply being, you're right, without anger or attempt to change or manipulate. Hello, my child. My partner. Yeah. Lay down, Bobby. Lay down, Bobby. Come here. Oh, see, we are also in constant co creation. For example, we might have a story that we tell ourselves that we're going to relive out this reality. Unfortunately, we forget that our fantasies for a future forecast that are. You know, our creations in our mind, our future forecast, perhaps include variables that we could not predict otherwise. Right? Like, you may think that you're going to show up at school and you're going to go give this girl your valentine. You know, you're going to give her a note and she's going to be all yours. I was using it as a horrible reference, so it made me completely lose track at where I was going, especially with George being, um rather distracting right now this is like the ultimate test of mindfulness meditation having a cat put its butt in your face basically and just desperately exactly i'm fresh out the bath so exactly i have moist damp skin and then this fluff ball wants to come all up in here and get the rub downs i'm all about giving the rub down okay <laughs> I guess the other, um, come on, I guess I was just trying to play out a storyline where you have an idea that you want to create this reality, but then exactly like the girl that you have feelings for or whatever that you think that you want, meanwhile she has this whole another story going on inside her and maybe she really loves someone else and maybe you don't really care. Who she loves, you know, as long as she somehow comes back around to you. Maybe you're, like, exactly, like, those are, like, selfish motivations. Not out of your genuine love for her. You have a conditioned love for her. Because you want her to fit these boxes. 
and rules such as being with you and exclusively with you, your ownership. Never really asking her where her soul chooses to be. You also have to recognize the opposition, like perhaps you're interested in your crush and then there's like someone else interested in your crush. You could say there's plenty of fish at the sea, however at the same time, I like to think, think that there's only one wonderful me, and that's the wonderful thing about Tigger, right? <laughs> there's only one in the world. There's only one of us. You know, I had this other revelation that I feel like man might have come millions of times before me, but it's basically how we keep searching, like, you know how man is constantly like, where's the aliens? You know, I kind of like to look at us as specimens outside of like nature like exactly like here we see have all these other things we have birds we have lizards and bugs and we have yes cats and dogs and ferrets and squirrels and spiders and snakes and you could say snails Oh, really? You starting with that? Oh, thank you. Oh! Sandpaper tongue. Cat just licked my forehead. He's licking my forehead right now. It slightly hurts. <laughs> What's up? You normally lick my hair. My forehead's a little bit more extreme. Oh, I think I know why. Maybe. I had some castor oil on. Maybe he liked that. <sighs> Noticing where my desires are, and I notice where they come from, and the subconscious, and then the science put into it as well. And frankly, nothing do I love more than the silence. Um, that knowing stillness. I can go to that level to like roller coaster energy, you know, 10 speed. <laughs> like ready to create and ready to travel and unstoppable, fearless, full charge energy. I can be both. <sighs> I do apologize, I am in transition right now. Thank you those of you who have been nothing but transparent and capable. Thank you for seeing in me where I have to offer. I recognize our time is very limited and I appreciate every breath and space that we share together. I recognize that that is limited as well. Thank you.